Butch, come here. This is Butch, Butch Patrick, ladies and gentlemen, from the Munsters, and uh, we're about to go on what, a ride. Ray? Yeah, my name's Ray. <laughs> um, I don't Ray. Butch is going to uh, let us drive in the uh, the coach, right? We're, we're going to be driving the coach today? I'll be driving, they'll be riding. Okay. Oh, can't drive? No, can't drive. Um, what, what are we looking at here? This is the... Uh, this is the Dragula. This okay. is the trip car from... That was... Uh, the original Dragula was in Planet Hollywood, it disappeared, nobody seems to know where it's at, so we built the tribute car, the replica. It's actually better, faster, louder, all of the, all of the above, and this was the, in the Hot Rod Herman episode where Herman lost the monster coach at the drag strip. We came home on the bus, Grandpa saved the day, built the Dragula to win it back. Where did you get the specs and the plans to, to recreate it? Uh, the gentleman that built it, Rucker Posey, just built it from photos and a uh, little model. Just a small model and just made it bigger. Now we're going to ride the coach. Uh, what do we need I mean, to you know? can all four can't cram it No, here. we can't fit in there, no. We, we, we walked up and we thought, is this what we're going to be driving? <laughs> um, the coach. I was going to be on the hood, right? The, the hood, oh, the casket. The casket. Uh, talk about the coach. The coach is we're going to walk back and we're going to unload the trailer and the coach is the family car that was made. Uh, also a replica? Uh, it's a tribute car for all yeah. yeah, the original one, this, the, 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 the original one isn't licensed for the street. It doesn't have very good brakes. It's not very dependable. <laughs> this one's licensed, street legal, all of the above, and a lot faster. It's got 454, 500 horse Chevy in it, so we'll have a good time. Nice. All right. Let's head over to the car. Okay. That is spooky. Spooky. Pull it out. Yeah, it's right there. No, you can't. No biggie. Yeah, how many times would you say you've driven this thing? What? We're doing a bike. We can. And then, well, I only bought it. Oh no, it's no. I mean, it's a U-bike. Right there. This is cool. Here's stuff. He's got. You take this out on the road. Sell them. We came to terms, and then he got tired. I said, "We're gonna be on the road for a while." Take it around. the waters. If anything happens, I'd like to have you there in case there's some issues. You know, yeah, shake down the roof. That's how we 
coming to terms on the deal. He held a little paperback for me, and I gave him a lot of money as a down payment, and the rest is history. And you get to travel around. I mean, that's nice. Woo so, and I have a car club up in New Jersey called yep. Dead Man's Curve, and one thing led to another, and now I'm working for sponsors. I'm getting some sponsorships together to help underwrite the tour, so everything's good. Very nice. Um, traveling around from show to show. Yeah. It's everyone's into the retro thing now. Back in the day when you were doing Monsters and all the the other shows, Adam Twelve and everything else you were part of, um, it was a small community. And not like today where there's a celebrity everywhere because of the internet. A small community. So you got to know a lot of people. Must be nice traveling around from show to show and being able to see old friends, familiar faces. Absolutely. And, and you know, one of the things is that the celebrity friends are great, but I'm really lucky. I have an extended family of fans. Yeah. Monsters is one of those shows that is just evergreen. Very wholesome viewing. Families, multi generations sit together and watch it together, and kids that like the or Nine are turned on to it. Turned around here, yeah. are turned on to it by their kids and their grandparents, and they love it because they enjoyed it in the '60s and they love something that their kids and their grandkids can watch now that they can all share a good laugh with. Eddie and the Monsters is a band. Yeah. Now, are you still performing? You know, I'll tell you a little secret about that. I was the original Monster Manili. I uh, never could sing, and my guitar player sang, and I couldn't play bass, but I did write the lyrics. We were the first unsigned act ever to be on MTV, which opened up the idea for the basement tapes, which I like to think hopefully helps some uh, aspiring talent get their foot in the door with uh, some record companies. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, are you still playing at all, or is that a... Uh...
talking to Mickey Dolan, I mean, uh, uh, Mike, Mike Nesmith, uh -huh. and everything that uh, he inspired. Oh. And yeah, Mick really played with Mickey Dolan's recently, yeah. which was very cool. I, uh, um, I saw Mike Nesmith's, Nesmith's, Nesmith's show. That's hard to say, easy for you to say. I saw his show recently. I really enjoyed it. I like him. Well, cool. he was a musician of the yeah. bunch. Yeah, he's cool. Uh, he was awesome. Do you have, um, you know, you were talking about fans earlier and how much they inspire you to go out and do this. Do you find that you have a lot of celebrity fans? Uh, yeah, you know, it's funny. I never thought much about that, but the other day I was at an autograph show at Larry Mazio, who was on the Dick Van Dyke show, but it's yeah. Larry Matthews. We're having lunch, and he goes, man, he goes, you, you have no idea how jealous we were of you. I go, well, what do you mean? He goes, all the kids in Hollywood. He goes, he goes, I was on the Dick Van Dyke show, and I was jealous of you. Because you had the coolest show, and you had the, you know, you had the special effects, and you had all that fun going on. He goes, we were all jealous. I said, I had no idea, but I guess I, I guess they were. Want to open it up just a little bit? Patrick, ladies and gentlemen, we're with Butch and we're in the uh, the coach, the Monsters we're gonna coach. Turn around. We're going to turn around. Yeah, we'll go through the gas station turn around. Uh, how often have you been in this area? You spent a lot of time in Massachusetts? First, first time. First time, really? Yeah. Uh, is this, I mean, this is one of the biggest, I think, right? It's huge. Is it, Jay, is that what they say? This is one of the biggest in the country? That's what she said. That's what she said. It's one of the biggest. Uh, but we want to thank you for your time. No we still got some time. Watch it. 
tried remaking the monsters not too long ago, which oh. I, I didn't think it was that bad. I went on the set the last day of the shoot, Mockingbird Lane. Yeah. It was great. And um, I don't know what happened to it. it just you know, they, they, I, I introduced it at Comic Con. It was really well received. Um, Brian Fuller, Brian Singer, A 